สวัสดีค่ะ Good afternoon so welcome back to uh, our health dialogue by BDMS today I'm here with Dr. p r i t k i a t a n s a g u n สวัสดีครับ so he is the director of emergency and trauma center of Bangkok Hospital Phuket I meet an emergency man today <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we are living on Phuket Island and uh, of course for the expat who are living on this island I think someone may worry about In case of emergency, maybe not yourself, but someone you love or your friends, and uh, if uh, you need an emergency ambulance or emergency service, what should we do? So, we will ask Dr. p r i t and uh, he will clarify everything for us today. So, um, let's begin with the first question. Um, There are many ambulances running on the island. So, yeah. can you explain a little bit what the difference and what kind of service they are doing on this island? Mm. <laughs> In uh, our island, we, uh, there is uh, uh, many service of uh, ambulance that provide by uh, government or uh, uh, private hospital. I see. Uh, uh -huh. uh, the government ambulance ambulance that uh, 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 provide by the uh, Uh, is there's a uh, locate in the uh, many community. Oh, I have Almost seen every like community. on the roadside there are some kind of different vehicles. Sometimes yes. minibus, but ambulance or pickup, but uh, like like um, modified to be an ambulance. Yes. Ah, yes. okay. Yes. Yes. So yes. you mean that one is belong to the government or some are like from some uh, uh, agents or someone who who prepare for service. Yeah. Yes, for service uh, the people in the, their community. Ah. Uh, so, uh, how can we get the ambulance? Uh, for government ambulance, you can call one six six nine. Okay, uh, that is, is also very important number. Yes. The first number doctor mentioned is one six six nine. One six six nine. And that one we will get the uh, government uh, ambulance that. Mm. Actually, if I call one six six nine, who will be the one who respond who take care of this calling? Uh, when you call one six six nine, your your call will uh, direct to the uh, uh, command center of uh, of the province of Phuket, and uh. they will ask you where where you mm. stay, mm. Uh, and then they they will uh, assign the nearest ambulance. Mm. Uh, to your location. Oh, so that that one is like, um, for example, if I'm now on Rawai Beach, yes, uh, I call an ambulance. So they will send the one that waiting or stand by near Rawai Beach yes, to yes, to, yes. to pick me up. Yes, yes, ah, yes. Ah, okay. Yes. I mean, we'll save time. Save uh, time, save time. Okay, is that for all over Thailand? One six six nine. I think. I think. Yes. One uh, number is. Uh, ah, for whole for nation. For whole nation, I but uh, uh, it depend on your location that 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 you call. Uh, okay. If if you uh, stay in Phuket, uh, your call will uh, direct to uh, Phuket Command Center. Uh, okay. If you if you stay in p a n g a uh, it will uh, direct to the p a n g a Command Center. I I experienced uh, that mm, because mm. I've been to p a n g a and mm. visit the James o n d Island that and this mm, and mm. once when the accident happened, I also call one six six nine. But I, I have to talk to p a n g a Province. Yeah. Uh -huh. yes. But anyway, don't worry. They work and they co coordinate together. Once when things happen on in the other province, they also can refer the case back to to Phuket Island if you belong to Phuket Island. Yes. 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 So that mean. Uh, if they are from other country, they may think about nine one 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 nine one. So one nine one is should be the number here in Thailand to call the police. The police yes. One nine one is to call the police <laughs> police officer. Okay, but um, I think if you need, if you are the foreigner who live on the island and you need to talk to the police, I think better to call one one five five. 
and that one is the tallest tallest. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, because uh, uh, at the beginning, very important is the language. Yeah, yes. because they they be able to answer your phone in English uh, language. Okay. 1669 is to call an ambulance emergency case or if you find someone on the beach and you want them to be picked up mm. and they want them to to be helped and assist and get the medical treatment so you they can call or you can call 1669 yes, yes, yes but but if i am the patient or the customer who always come to bangkok hospital who get mm. and uh I know that you have hotline number. Mm -hmm. So should I call that hotline number one seven one nine? Yes, you can. Or you call have one... another number? No, you we have one number. Ah, okay, one number. One seven one nine. Okay. Mm. At, I think same as one six six nine. <laughs> one seven one nine. If you call on Phuket Island, you will get Bangkok Hospital Phuket. But if you call in the other province, you also get Bangkok Hospital, but the other location. Yes, yes. Okay. The same, the same. <laughs> same, 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 same situation. System. Yes, yeah, yes. Same system. Mm. Okay. If I call one seven one nine, doctor, uh, maybe I have to to make everyone get the picture yeah, how yeah. to manage. Um, for example, I, I am uh, at Rawai Beach. Uh -huh. I call from my villa. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm still conscious, but I know that I need medical treatment. Uh -huh. I need to be here in the hospital. Uh -huh. I call 1719 and, and how, 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 how should I inform them or, or they will ask yeah, me? Yeah, when, when you call 1719, mm -hmm. your incoming line will uh, divert to uh, uh, we call a dispatch center. Okay. Uh, we, we will have uh, the call taker to communicate with you and they will ask uh, some some question and okay. you can inform some question and uh, they will uh, provide uh, proper uh, medical equipment uh, mm. proper team mm. to go with the ambulance to mm. to approach uh, at, at at your location uh -huh. uh, uh, but first when you ask me that uh, how <laughs> how 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 to uh, how to do yes uh. actually i also have experience but but uh, maybe i i will share my experience and uh, maybe you can cover some more uh, uh. Uh, i used to call 1719 and i tell them that i need an ambulance mm. this is a real situation happened long times ago and i i have to escort my mm. my friend to the hospital but then very lucky my friend used to be the patient in this country, mm. uh, in this hospital and they know the location ah. they, they use the system something to to detect the house uh, they in, know where in, we are yes in our hospital uh, if you can you if uh, you used to uh, to uh, to call an, uh, an ambulance, ambulance uh -huh. and uh, use our service uh -huh. uh, our system will uh, pin the your location, ah. your house, uh, and and when you call again, uh, we can find your location in our system. Yes, mm. that is that's simple, a short, short in time. Yes, short in mm. the time. It's very simple, but it's necessary. Yes, because yo right now even the rider, the food delivery also <laughs> know where we are. So this system must be must yes, be prepared. Yes. Once when you inform us, uh, we know already where you are. So as we shorten the time, we go straight to your place and pick you up. Mm. Okay. The, the time is very important in the emergency situation. Yes. Uh, uh. Okay. We, we say minute count. Yes. Every minute is like life. Life. Threatening. Yes. yes. Uh, and um, I, I know that uh, we have to also give some information, mm. right? Ah, very important. First, first. First important is uh, stay calm. Okay. Stay calm. <laughs> I have to stay calm because doctor will explain and I cannot stay calm. Okay. When you when you see the uh -huh. situation, emergency situation for yes. your friend or yours, okay, stay calm first uh -huh. and call 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 for help. Uh -huh. Call for help. One seven one nine. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can give us uh, some uh, information. Mm -hmm. uh, the name of patient, the age. Mm -hmm. and uh, the medical situation that mm. uh, that happened mm. yeah. and uh, don't remember uh, inform us the the callback number oh, don't, forget. Ah. don't forget because sometimes when we are on the way and we cannot find the location so we have to call you back don't forget to tell us the contact number 
Yes, that we can call you back. Yes, okay. Yes, yes. Okay. And also, um, if if the accident, if it's not like sickness, not happen in the house, if the the accident happened, for example, on the road, we also have to. Uh, you have also to inform the team that you are on the risky station, yes. like on the roadside, or maybe the car has a, a gas tank, for example. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah, some situation like that. Yes. But doctor has mentioned before, if the patient has, for example, like heart problem, that, that is like a chronic disease or a problem that they are facing, like heart problem, uh, because we have also preparation, different mm. kind of preparation, yes. right? Okay, if, if, if the patient said, um, I have chest pain, mm -hmm. so what will happen here on your side? Okay, uh, uh, chest pain is a specific disease. Mm -hmm. when, you, when, you, when, you, when you have a chest pain, we have to, we have to mention there's heart attack or not. Uh, mm -hmm. But if I cannot answer. Yeah, mm -hmm. you cannot answer. Mm -hmm. But uh, the, it is important in the heart, heart attack because yeah. uh, the time is uh, very important. Yes. Uh, uh, in case of a heart attack, when you call, oh, I have chest pain. Mm. Uh, the process is uh, we uh, we will uh, uh, prepare the, the team. Mm -hmm. The uh, we call advanced team uh. Uh, that include the the emergency doctor, emergency nurse, mm -hmm. uh, EMT, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, some equipment such as uh, the uh, uh, the yes. mobile ECT, ECT. Uh, ah. mobile ECT. Uh, when you when we approach you, we can uh, do the uh, ECT at your location. Ah, okay. Uh, For example, shade pan at Rawai Beach. Once when the ambulance arrive mm -hmm. with the doctor and nurses uh, team, then the ECT will be done on the site. On right the there. site. And the, the report will be sent to the hospital yes. real time. And the doctor will uh, interpret your your ECT. Ah. And when once you 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 are diagnosed as a heart attack, mm. uh, the team on the ambulance will inform the uh, will uh, report the, your information to the hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I've been visit his uh, station also. Uh, there is a screen that they see exactly what happened uh, on the side. For example, if you if the patient is in the ambulance, you see exactly what happened in the ambulance, and also the report will be sent directly to mm. to the team. Once when 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 the patient arrives at the hospital, that's the difference between. Um, uh, we really don't know how how is the process of the others. This is by experience. Uh, once when the patient patients arrive and already diagnosed mm. on the way, then the patient will be uh, take the fast track, fast go straight track to, to, to the cat lab, cat lab for example, yes. for, for yes. the further treatment mm. right away. Mm. Ah, okay. Mm. I really worry yeah. about the time. So that mm. really shorten the time and the, the faster, the sooner that they arrive and get the treatment, yes, yes, yeah, the, yes. the more opportunity. More opportunity. Yeah, yes. to be and, in the best condition. Uh, and during uh, transportation, we have a uh, uh, monitor, okay. uh, many okay. monitor, uh, oxygen support, and give you some medication uh, uh, in control by the, the emergency doctor. Uh, okay, so I feel like if you said so, uh, once when I step into the ambulance, it sounds like I'm already in the hospital. Yes, yes, it's, 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 it's like this. Yeah. Why I, I feel like I'm happy to be in an ambulance. <laughs> I mean, in, 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 in your ambulance, I mean, uh, I feel safe, I feel safe. Uh, okay, so the step is stay calm and call 1719. Yes. And after that, tell us the information, important information such as the name, if, mm. if you can tell, and the gender, the age, and also how many patients, maybe more than one. Yes. Maybe we have to go with the bigger team uh, and also uh, whether the patient still conscious or still breathing. Uh, and some, also, some, some question from uh -huh. the call taker. Yes. Maybe will you, uh, when, you, when you don't know what, what uh, to inform, uh, okay. yeah, the call taker will uh, ask to, you some, some yes. question, some short question. Okay. Is the patient awake? Uh, Is the patient uh, breathing? Uh -huh. uh, is he have a seizure? Okay. Uh, so please be patient. I mean, once when when our, our call taker asks you a few questions, you know what? The 
if you give a like one or two minutes explaining that we will get the right team, the right person, and the best that suit with the patient. Yes. Yes. yes, yes. But but if you only need a car, I mean, we are not a taxi. Yeah. Not not, not just go fast, but if you go with the the right, everything has been prepared. Yeah. But how long will to it take? Totally, totally different. Totally yeah, different. Yeah. Yeah. If you can give more detail, the the sufficient information, then mm -hmm. you will get you can assist them a lot yeah, yeah. save them time mm -hmm. and how long if the call taker already answer ask the questions and get the information how long does it take that your team will leave the hospital uh, our team uh, stand by 24 hours okay uh, 24 hours and uh, after we get the sufficient information yes uh, the ambulance will, will leave the hospital mm. within two minutes Within two minutes, mm -hmm. okay. Once hang up, the team jump into the uh, the ambulance uh, and two minutes. But the call taker alert, uh, and then within two minutes we go. Okay, uh, so because the ambulance is stand is stand by right at the ER area. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. And um, it also depends. Nah? How far do you live from the hospital? Yes, it's a. Uh, <laughs> it's even on the traffic, uh, but okay, we we can. It's it's factor we cannot control. We can we can turn on the the light like la 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 la. <laughs> we are on the way, but sometimes it's really terrible. The traffic is very terrible, so um, once when when the ambulance arrive and get the patients back to the hospital, mm. then everything will run like uh, so many people experience that. A process doctor will visit and uh, the, the care team will mm. take care of the patients. But uh, let me ask you, uh, I have seen a lot of signage in, in ER center, mm. like like beds, like uh, camps, something like that. Can you please explain more about this signage and what's the difference between uh, normal ER and the best team or the camps, what, what are these? Work uh, for stand for uh, the first one, uh, best team, best team that's that's mean uh, uh, Bank, Bangkok Hospital Emergency Team. Ah. Uh, this is uh, the group of uh, emergency care, okay? Uh, so, we name all the, the emergency care provider of BDMS like best, right? Yes, yes, ah, yes. okay, uh, and about the CAMS standard, okay, CAMS standard is uh -huh. uh, the uh, standard that uh, uh, the world class standard mm -hmm. that uh, we uh, they accredit our transportation system. Okay, uh, so including the ambulance must the, be qualified. Yes, and also the staff. The yes. staff mean mm -hmm. how 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 many uh, different category do you have? Like doctors uh, and nurses. Uh, Doctor on ambulance, uh, ah. we use uh, they, are, they are not the same doctor. Not the same doctor. Oh, I not, see. Not, not, not GP. Not, not okay. general practice. Oh, uh, not general practice, uh, not general yes. uh, physicians. Yes, like. yes. Uh -huh. uh, we use uh, the, the emergency uh, physician, emergency physician that who will train in the emergency condition. Uh, so they, 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 they must hospital. learn and they must be trained yes, separately. Yes. Separately, ah, uh, okay. the, the, the specialist doctor, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the specialist one. And mm. how about the nurse? Also emergency or uh, can we they... have uh, emergency nurse. Uh, mm -hmm. The nurse uh, who can uh, stay at the, our ER have to be trained. Mm. Uh, trained for take care patient in uh, emergency situation. Yes. Uh, some I I saw things happen like they they can even sit in the ambulance and be on the funnel and uh I like perform the CPR during the time that the ambulance is running. Yes, we can do. Yes, we can do. <laughs> yes, but and, and we we have to use uh, some instrument. Uh, that's ah. that, that's why the flashback to uh, what what. Uh, how how important that mm. that you inform the our situation? Yes, uh, yes, yes. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, besides doctor and nurses, who else are on the ambulance? Uh, who else? Uh, like the other the other one is uh, we call EMT, uh, emergency medical te 
เทคนิเชียนอ๋อโอ้โซบีอาร์เดอร์เทคนิเชียนไลค่ะไลค่ะด็อกเตอร์แอสซิสเตนส์โอเคเอ่อเดียร์โปรเฟสเซอร์ในในในมูฟเมนต์เดอะเพชเชนเทคแคร์อ่าเวนยูเวนยูเวนยูเวนยูซีเดอะเดอะดิฟฟิคัลซิทูเอชันซัชเชสเดอะวีวีวันทูมูฟเดอะเพชเชนอินเนโรเอเรียเนโรสเปซอ่าวีแคนยูซัมเทคนิคทูมูฟอ่า I also see that before. I think I have been working too long on <laughs> in this hospital <laughs> because uh, let let me also share with you because I have uh, the experience going out with the team and we do the like like a training for search and rescue team mm -hmm. for example mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. uh, also how to carry the the patients passing the narrow way or even standing the the yeah the yeah board. yeah well, uh, the well, how to call that board the orange one. Uh, yeah, the, spinal, the board. spinal board. Ah, yeah. the spinal board with the net. Ah. Yes. Oh, uh, that that kind of experience, but really professional our team because uh, we have been trained and also be able to transfer them even it from the sea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, out and also coming to the even floating pontoon yeah, 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 yeah. and coming to <laughs> to 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 the ambulance. Uh, uh, uh. I think that is very important because on the way. If we cannot carry them well, yes. the condition may be getting worse. Maybe right? getting worse. Uh, uh -huh. What what can happen? For, if, I mean, yes. For example, when you have the accident mm -hmm. and you have back pain, uh, mm -hmm. like this. Uh, if you have back pain, uh, at scene we don't know there is a uh, broken or not. Ah. Uh, if there is broken at first, maybe not displacement. Uh, ah, I see. Uh, Still there at the right and, place. And and if you use the 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 wrong technique to move uh, okay. non displaced to displace okay. non no operation to operation ah. that's get worse for for the okay. patient. That's why we have uh, we 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 have to use the the uh, professional to to move the patient. Okay, uh, one small thing. Uh, since I I used to work as a translator at at the uh, hospital, and always happen so many people are so kind and friendly. Sometimes when when the patient or the the person got injured and he or she may need an an operation, you know, sometimes giving them something to drink, something to eat, worry about they may be hungry, and that may delay mm. the time uh to 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 let the patient go into the operating theater for the operation. Uh, why why we have to worry about that? Why we have to always say? All the operation can be done after six hour after the last meal. Mm, mm, mm. Uh -huh. Can can you please explain why? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, normally, when when you when you uh, when you when you do an operation, mm -hmm. uh, we have to uh, uh, give you some uh, medication to uh -huh. to control the pain. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, and uh, maybe need the intubation. Okay, uh, that intubation. Okay, let me see. It's a tube to go in, and if you have something inside, uh, and that may be uh, uh, aspirate, block, uh, aspirate, uh, aspirate blockage, uh, for example. Okay, mm -hmm. so if you found the accident happen, and if that person has a big wound, open wound, mm -hmm. and he may need the suture and also operation, mm -hmm. so try not to give him anything to drink, anything yes. to eat. Yes. Uh, you may. Uh, let 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 the medical team arrive them first, and let the medical team mm -hmm. uh, make decision. Mm -hmm. And I know that right now we also so dealing this um, COVID nineteen situation. COVID nineteen. We go back to this word <laughs> because we try to help and save everyone, and let everyone save the money. Also, yes. once when we need an ambulance service right mm -hmm. now, Bangkok Hospital Phuket also has a promotion for ambulance service. I don't so on on Phuket Island only 500 baht for 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 one call and we bring you in into the hospital for medical treatment, and uh, also I mean, other province. So let's talk to one seven one nine and you will mm -hmm. get a price. I'm sure that is it's affordable. Mm -hmm. Okay, and right now, doctor, um, sometime well, right now we cannot go on the plane, right? But some no, no, patients, no. <laughs> once when when they are here in this hospital and they want to be referred to the the other hospital, 
you, you also can provide an ambulance and send them to the other hospital, right? Uh, refer in or refer out? Both, both way. For example, well, an accident happened at Takupa and uh -huh. they want to come into Phuket Hospital. Yes, we can do it. Can so do. it's real like a doctor team or a medical team will communicate, right? Okay, uh, when you want to uh, refer, we call refer. Like, oh, okay. In, in the oh. facility care. Uh, okay, like move from one hospital one, to, to, this to this hospital. This hospital. Okay. Yes, uh, you can uh, call 17192. To, uh -huh. to inform oh. the okay. to inform the referral center first you uh -huh. want to you want to move to our hospital okay uh, or let the nurse do that also possible yes yes, uh -huh. yes. Okay. and uh, uh, when 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 you uh, when we uh, get the request mm -hmm. uh, we will uh, uh, ask for ask to the call the Medical? to the to the hospital to that the patient stay Mm -hmm. uh, to get some medical information uh, okay. uh, how severity of this uh, mm -hmm. what operation need to do mm -hmm. uh, what the medical equipment that uh, okay. restrain the patient ah, uh, okay. if uh, the team uh, the team will decided uh, ah. uh, uh, the personnel to to provide the uh, uh, with the ambulance to get the patient back. I think uh, about the same way, but maybe we get more information because uh, the person who will give us the information are medical teams, can be doctor and nurses, and can be like the information of the first uh, uh, first aid information uh, and also investigation. Yes, yes. yes ah, yes, okay. Yes, yes, and yes. and the patient can be referred to our hospital. Uh, so can uh, in, inform your insurance company. Uh, uh, that you you want to be referred or sometimes even the insurance company uh, itself also call us that we have to refer the case to our hospital mm -hmm. and also uh, is this also if there is a critical case mm -hmm. uh, the, the complicated case mm -hmm. we have the doctor to go with ambulance to take okay. to hospital and we have uh, uh, many equipment such as a mobile ventilator mm -hmm. uh, uh, some uh, medication uh, we 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 want to uh, uh, to make an ambulance to uh, to uh, mobile ICU. Mm. Uh, Again, I mean, once when the ambulance arrive, mm. it's like you are step into the hospital. <laughs> yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. Even the distance is quite long, and also, but uh, uh, we also provide the other service like uh, in case the patient needs to be referred back to their home country. Yeah, I mean. For further treatment, uh, mm. uh, just in case, we also can communicate with with the service so provider uh, that uh, also uh, is caught with the doctor, uh, or yes. even order the doctor from the other country to come and pick them up. One thing, what I experience again is yep. sometimes I also have to answer the phone call in the night, midnight, for example, <laughs> because uh, if you phone in or you call in and you speak the other language. And that is, I think, also the uh, the best part of the hospital. Like, we also have other translator to help and assist because sometimes medical term in the in the third language, like, they cannot explain everything yeah, yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so um, one thing, if you have the medical condition, uh, you should have a special note, uh, put it in your wallet or mm -hmm. like like your. Uh, on your mobile phone or on your mobile phone mm. if you can turn it on or stick it on your some patient tattoo tattoo information <laughs> <laughs> in the near future maybe we have the, the chip <laughs> okay yeah. my friend also put the, the 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 note on the refrigerator yeah the cover of the refrigerator mm. and then the other people can help and assist so uh keep us as a important number that you have to call in case of emergency yes. 1719 and you will come uh, straight to Bangkok Hospital Phuket and uh, if you speak the other language maybe you also uh, can get a special contact with our translator and if you need the transportation so call us right now the promotion is 500 baht per call and return if you need I think normally when you come in with an ambulance, <laughs> go back, you normally use a taxi or your friend yeah. can pick you up. Everyone hope. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. I, 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 
don't think that you need an ambulance for return because <laughs> your condition is better. Mm -hmm. And we also have the, the slide here, say stay safe and secure against road accident. This is the, the uh, compulsory motor insurance that once when accident happened and you own a motorcycle or you rent a motorcycle, even even your uh, driving license is expired. Mm. <laughs> you know what? But if your motor insurance is not expired, you will get the coverage by 30,000. But it doesn't mean that once when the accident happened, you will get 30,000. But if the, the wound dressing, the treatment, it's like they will pay at a mm. price, at that price for the hospital for you. So you don't have to pay out of your pocket. Okay, so are you busy at this moment? This moment, uh, <laughs> so many road accident. It's a depend on the the period. Eh? Okay. Uh, it's a, uh, I think our doctor right now he also need to go back to his station. I never get that long time with him. Today is my first time talking to Doctor Prut for thirty minutes. Thank you for your attention. And uh, if you have any question. Um, can can I also if is there any question? You accept um okay, many emergency service in the UK and other country. Oh hmm. except what three words location. What does it mean? Mm, many emergency service mean? in the UK and other country. Okay, so can you please text us again, maybe your contact number or your email address and we will communicate with you. Mm. Yeah, to, 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 to give you better answer and uh, we can explain to you more. Okay, so 1719 or at line and be our friends at expats link. And if you want to send a message, if you want to ask more question or also which topic is interesting, uh, you want to listen to which doctor you want to meet just let me know and next week on thursday at two o'clock we will meet dr captain concerning the retina operation or the retina treatment thank you dr prit for today and he will go back to his station at the emergency and trauma center thank you for today and goodbye stay safe <laughs>